Howdy nerds, how are we all doing? So it's been a new year, so we're back with the first year vlog of the year. Uh, we're a year older, I'm a year older, and we've done quite a bit this month. Not a lot of it gaming as much as I'd like, but that's just how it goes. So let's begin with where we started. So this month we started with a lot of Celeste. We're playing that on the Games with Gold program. Amazing game, absolutely incredible. Finished the A-sides and B-sides. Not not that keen on the C-sides. Blackpool is a bit shit. Um, mental health hasn't been great. I mean, it's January blues. And just, it, it's been a bit tricky this month. But a few things kind of fell into place and we're now in a lot more stable position. Uh, back at work now, which is nice, I guess. We had an extra two weeks off, so it meant I could focus on a lot of the things that we've been doing differently on stream is doing the app work. So that's hopefully now released to 1.0. Uh, so in the, what was it, night before last? So yeah, been working on an ad for that, That's that was quite good. So the standout streams, we did the stream with uh, Mr. Weeble for the pub quiz. We did some Aldvark Ald review of the year. So Aldvark and Tuna, which is the other YouTube channel I do. We did the review of the year. We also had him in with doing Rimworld, which was amazing. That was a really good laugh. Started our alpaca attack squad. Uh, what else have we done this stream? Oh, we did. Oh, we did my birthday stream. So that was one of the goals from last month. We did my summer car and we played some board games. It was quite nice. It was really good. What else did we do? Oh yeah, one of the goals last month was the Call to Arms video. I've been ill today. I've basically been asleep all day. So now I'm going to be up until probably Friday. As I say, this is Wednesday. So we'll see how that goes. Ooh. So, uh, excuse me. Yeah, I might cut that. Nah, I'll leave it in. Fuck it. Uh, what else have we done this month? Oh yeah, we phoned up the room. So you can't see it here. There's pr probably a picture of it that you saw on Twitter. And I think it has improved the audio slightly. It's had, an, uh, it's had a slight impact. I, do, I think I do need to replace this mic. I think that's the issue. That's the only way we can really improve it. Oh god. Um, so that's on... That's on the shopping list, I think. Ooh, so the app, that, that, that's been, we've been running into a few problems with that. So it's just been, just getting it ready. Just getting it ready has been an absolute, well, not nightmare. It's just been a task. Because originally it was something that was made for me. So I could basically hack it together as much as I wanted. But now it's a commercial product. A, a few more effort has, a few bit more effort has to go into it before I can like ship it essentially so it's just been a bit of a back and forth and a learning experience but it's, it's good it's in a really good place a lot of people love it so hopefully with it going on sale next month uh, fingers crossed i don't know what that is that, uh, that's some sort of religious symbol that, that's better that's better uh so next month events wise we've got a uh, game blast there'll be a link to link below to my charity page that game blast is a charity for uh Game Blast is an event for a charity called Special Effect, and they specialise in developing bespoke hardware and controller inputs for for people with disabilities. So it's giving everyone the same access to video games. I know that's a a, a big thing for me. Like everyone should be able to enjoy video games, give them give people that escapism, and just be part of something as well. So that's why I'm doing that. That will be a desert bus stream. We're going to be doing eight hours. If we raise a thousand pounds, I will drive back, which will be sixteen hours. We're working on the logistics of that. We're going to get some donation goals in it as well. So that's on the twenty third, twenty fourth. Future me will sort that out. Uh, the event will be down below. We've got the City of Games twenty nineteen. So I'm back doing another pub quiz. That'll be on the fifteenth. So that weekend I'll be probably nowhere, nowhere online. I was going to be super busy working that convention. Which would be good. There'll be some people that I've not seen for a while there, so it'd be good to play some just play some board games. Like the last year, I've not really had time for it, and I might dig out the, the young scythe. Ooh, what else is going on? So this month's games, we've got some, we've got some really big titles out this month. So we've got like Wargroove, we've got Anthem, I think there's Division as well, uh, Crackdown. So basically, those are the main four I think are going to feature on the channel this month. All could be in flux. It could be something that comes up that really appeals, but we'll see. So tomorrow, hopefully, I'll get my code for Wargroove and we can start 
getting help on the channel, which will be amazing. I can't wait. It's getting some really good reviews. And, yeah. So, oh yeah, one other thing, to go back to goals, what we did last month, I got my uh, new passport sorted, so... Yeah, what's here? What's, what's on my desk? Somewhere? Anyway, that's that's all sorted, thanks to people's generous donations, so that's partly funded. Uh, we still don't know anything about TwitchCon, so that's um, slightly worrying, but hopefully everything kind of... It's all going to drop at once, so it's going to be chaos. So I'm going to start keep fundraising for accommodation and travel. May have something with Flaming Monocle to get us across there, which might make it cheaper. But we'll see. Uh, next month's goals, let's move on to these. So, yeah, funds and travel for accommodation for TwitchCon. Uh, we're going to do about, think about doing a, a raid response. So, like this, I've seen a lot of streamers have these, and they're like a short video to kind of show off what I am as a streamer. I'm not quite sure what form that's going to take yet, but we'll see. Um, may also look into doing different animations for different sub levels. Not, it's not a huge priority yet. I do need to fix the hog cam. Uh, that's currently in the shop uh, because I need to get another pie. Uh, there was an error in translation, so a gift from my uh, from one of my family members meant that I I've got the memory card for <laughs> for the pie. I've not got the pie, so I need, I need to raise a bit of funds for that. And then hopefully we get everything sorted with the hog cam, because then we can make it a, a bit lighter and we can do some cool stuff. I am working on a new app. This isn't a Streamlabs app, but it is an app for streaming card games. And that's coming on very nicely with my new working schedule. It means I can work on that in the day while I'm uh, in the office, in quotation marks, essentially. So, yeah, we're getting there. All right bit of a different Hogwatch this month. So last month we were talking to the vet and they were like, he's too fat. So now on Hogwatch, we're going to weigh him. Cue the footage. <laughs> Alright, that's the scale set up. Let's see how much this chunk weighs. It's going to be a little dozy because it's been up, up all evening running. I'll put you in this box, mate. Whoa. Um. Get in a shot of there, mate. Ooh. This box is way too big. Hold on. I'm curious if we can just... in grams, we'll do that. Just gotta make him make sure he sits there for a moment. And that was sixty six point eight grams. Yeah that's a definitely a sixty sixer. I think that's lost weight. We'll see. I'll go and I'll I'll update you when I know more. So yeah. Not much change. <laughs> I dug out his file and he's exactly the same weight, give or take. He may be full of food and poop, so maybe that's weighing him down a bit, so I'm just going to keep cutting his meals down a bit and hopefully get him a bit more exercised. The chonk. But yeah, that's that's Pete. That's the Pete update. He's alright, regardless. He's been, we've, we've been, have, been having him on my desk a bit more in his new beds and he's like I actually got to stroke his face for like the first time without him freaking out so progress is progress alrighty nerds that's been me for this month thank you all again for your support oh just it's just insane hopefully get the call to arms video out in the next week or so I just need to work at, look at my schedule uh, and yeah we'll go from there alright nerds see you next time bye